with the Spirit this morning. Praise God. He said, in my Father's house, I haven't got there yet. I'm going to beat some of y'all there. But I won't be able to come back and tell you that in my Father's house or many mansions this morning. If you don't believe anything else, Jesus said, just believe the works that I have done. Just believe the works that you have read about. You ought to look around. There are works in your life that God has done. He wants you to take a look at them. You still alive this morning. The chicken pox didn't take you out when you were a kid. You don't have a cancer this morning. God wants you to believe the works, amen, that he has done. Oh, I'm not hitting you yet. Amen, I'm not hitting you yet. You see, in every life, some rain must fall, but in every life in here this morning, there are tons of miracles in here this morning. If you ever were close to drowning, I want you to stand up this morning. If you've been in an automobile accident that you didn't keep continuing saying it, that you didn't think you was going to get out of, I want you to stand this morning. I know who most of y'all are. Uh-huh. See? Yeah. Did the devil ever write you off or the doctor ever write you off? They both start with a D and say, you wouldn't go make it. Anybody here, you wouldn't go make it. From a child, did they say that your mother wasn't going to be able to have any children? But she had you. Both of them boys need to be standing up. I know them boys. Praise God. My God. Amen. Hey, that's just some of the miracles in here. Amen. The Lord said, if you don't believe anything else, believe the miracle that I put in your life. Amen. If you don't believe anything else, give me praise, amen, for the miracle that I've already done in your life this morning. Praise God. God bless you this morning. Jesus said that in my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, if it wasn't there, if it wasn't waiting for you, he said, I would have told you. He said, I'm going to prepare a place for you. For 2,000 years, God has been preparing a place for us. Amen. He's been getting it ready. Amen. He's the master builder, the master carpenter. Amen. He's been through everything that you can imagine. Amen. To get the credentials to build this house. Amen. He got the license to build it when he hung on the cross. Amen. He got the license to build it when he received the stripes. Amen. He got the license to build it when he was rejected. Amen. By man 2,000 years ago, he's building a house for you. Now, you ought to at least show some type of appreciation this morning. Praise God. Praise God. We built our son and daughter-in-law a house, amen. I thought they were going to never stop thanking us. Praise God. They sent us an email. Thank you. Amen. Every time we walked in the door, thank you. Amen. They couldn't stop thanking us, amen, for building a house, amen. Just 2,100 square feet. But Jesus got a mansion waiting on me. You think I'm not done? Already paid for. Already. Already paid for. He said, and where I'm going, you know the way. You know, it would be a sad thing if somebody would build you a house, but you don't know how to get there. Amen. Yeah. Got a, a rent-free house waiting on you. Got it built, but you don't know how to get there. Yeah. Amen. You know what that tells me? Somebody else is going to occupy your dwelling place this morning. Praise God. Got a brand new mansion. Amen. But we don't know how to get there. He said, and where I go, you know the way. But Thomas said, Lord, we don't know the way. 
Listen closely what I read in the, in the line. He said, Thomas said unto them, Lord, we know not where you are going, and how can we know the way? Because you, we don't even know where you're going. <laughs> See, you can't get to where you want to go if you don't know the way. Amen. And don't count on with that thing called a GPS. Don't count on it. Amen. It don't work in Mossville. It tells you you're in a place somewhere where you are out of zone and uh, we can't help you. And you're on your own. Amen. But God, GPS system don't work that way. Wherever you are, God can find you. Wherever you are, He can direct you. If you're down in the deepest sin, God can bring you up. If you're in trouble, God can help you. If you don't know where you're going, God can help you this morning. Amen. Praise God. I believe God's GPS system is better than any yes. thing Microsoft or anybody else can make. Amen. Thomas spoke right when he said, Lord, we don't know where you're going, and we don't even know the way. But then, we know where he went, right? Yes. We know where he is. Amen. Again, it is a shame again. If you got a mansion waiting on you, and you know that it's at 66, 52, Highway 397, you know where it is, but you don't know how to get there. My God. You can't get there. You're staying on a GPS system, but you still can't get there. You know that it's over. You know it's in that direction, but you can't get there. Wouldn't it be sad? Amen? Jesus has a mansion ready for us, and some of us don't know how to get there. Amen. You can't get there underneath your own power. You can't get there mad at your brother. You can't get there by liking some folks and don't like no other folks. You can't get there by me throwing back and mad at folks. You just can't get there amen, unless you go the way that Jesus went. He said, I am the way. I am the truth, believe me. And I'm the life. When you get there, I give you everlasting life. When you get there, I give you everlasting life. Jesus said, you know the way. Thomas said, we don't know the way. We don't even know where you're going. Amen. But we know where he went. Amen. He went back up to meet the Father. Amen. Amen. He's the only one that came down from the Father. And he's the only one that went back up to the Father. I don't have a real good vision about how heaven is, but I do know that the Word of God is true, and I know that Jesus is in heaven this morning. And I want to go. I want to go. I want to go. Some of y'all that are young ain't ready to go yet. You infatuated with this world. But I want to go. Amen. I want to see. Amen. I want to feel it. Amen. I want to know that the word of Jesus is true. I want to know. I want to go. And the only way that I can go is to get Christ's life in my life. You got a mansion waiting on you, but you're in the club. Right now. Yeah, you got a mansion waiting on you, but you can't get you can't get along with your neighbor next door. You got a mansion waiting on you, but the thoughts in your mind ain't Christ-like, amen. You got a mansion waiting on you, but you won't even pay your tithes in the church. You got a mansion waiting on you. My God, but you, you just don't want to go the way Jesus went. Is it too hard for some of us? Amen. It's a way too hard for some of us. Amen. It's a too difficult. Amen. We've seen the way. We know the way. He's taught us the way. He showed us the way. We ought to know the way by now. Amen. Solving your problems. Another way is not going to work. Amen. You got to do it the Jesus way. I heard Paul say, Sister Terry, why not you rather take wrong just so right can go forth? Amen. I'd rather take wrong 